Looks like things are going smoothly. You're as friendly as ever. Well, you sure are pulling out the big guns. Do we really need this thing? The space-time anomaly 15 years ago took place in an incomplete fashion. We must correct the errors. Huh. So, you knew all along, huh? You're one scary guy. I bet you can't wait to see the look on her face when she finally knows it. So, this is our princess? She smells good. I've fallen in love already. I'm on it. kind of thing, Miyuki. Has anything come up on the scanner yet? I hope you understand that what we're after poses a considerable threat to Vector. I'd appreciate you taking the situation more seriously. Exactly. I don't care if you get yourself killed. Just don't take us down with you. All right, all right, fine. Why is everyone picking on me? Well, is this it, Miyuki? Confirming coordinates. Yep, perfect. No doubt about it, this is Vector's S-Line division. Then the top secret data we want is just ahead. I'll handle backup. You three take care of the rest. You're not gonna help, Doctus? Don't depend on others to do everything for you. Usus Magister est Optimus. Hurry. I want to be as far from here as possible when our pursuit arrives. I know, I know!
It'll only take three minutes.
Engaging secondary security. Disengaging secondary security. Miyuki, keep watch. Kanan, please start the data backup. I'm already on it. Don't screw up, now that we've made it this far. I know, I know. But will this really expose Vector's crimes? Miyuki, do you understand what this UMN really is? Uh, it's a wide area network system or something? Right? 
A wide area information network system with non-local connections. Its characteristics enable warp travel and light speed communication. An exemplary answer. But do you think that's really all there is to it? What do you mean? A wide area network that connects our star cluster. But who built it and when? Who established the gate jump columns? For that matter, what division of Vector even handles the base theory development? It's... um... Exactly. No one knows, because no one established it or built it. It was already there. We just use it as if we invented it. That's nothing more than your own conjecture. I'll give you credit for your vivid imagination, but you have no proof. He's right. Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? I hope so. If I'm wrong, everyone can live in peace. But we need to make sure. We need to know what they intend to accomplish with the UMN. What their ultimate goal is. Huh? Xion, there's something weird. Something? I've told you time and again to make precise reports. Well, there's a strange fluctuation in the particle flow. It started about 300 seconds ago. Looks like a fractal pattern. I think someone or something's trying to interfere with us. Is it a pursuit craft or the cyber surveillance system? No. There hasn't been any physical contact from macrophages. And there's no sign that our jamming of the surveillance network has been broken. It's like someone's watching. No, studying us. Studying us? Who? Why? There's no way for me to tell. How's that data coming? Just a little more. Hurry! It's dangerous to stay here much longer. Sorry, didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I don't waste brain power on trivial things. Uh, this is gonna be a little bumpy. Hold on tight. Wait, what? She on? Thank you. 
That one was a little too close for comfort. Are you all right, Xion? Whoa, you look pretty sexy. Miyuki, you're starting to sound like a dirty old man. We completed our mission. Although someone made it more complicated than it should have been. Oh, come on, Xion. I promise it won't happen again. Anyway, how's the data? Don't tell me we lost it in the end. It's fine. The backup completed with 0 .002 nanoseconds to spare. Good. Not bad. Former chief of Vector's first division. You and your brother are both good. The translation method was sloppy and a bit lagging, but thanks to you, we made it. I'm going to start analyzing the backed up data. I'll let you know if I find anything, along with that other thing you asked. Thanks. Start the data transfer, Realian. It's Kanan. You seem to have a defect in your memory. Errare humanum est. Um, uh, Xion, you aren't mad, are you? No, everything turned out all right. I don't make a habit of fussing over details. Oh, good. No, it's not good. I'm sending you text on basic structure later, and I want you to answer them. Oh, again? Your method is unable to adapt to the language because you skip the basics during assembly. Yes, ma'am. Xion, is what we are doing really okay? You're asking me now? You're the one who demanded we let you help. I mean, well, what we're doing is a crime. Yes, but that was before the Gnosis terrorism. We know that the Gnosis phenomenon is symbiotically linked to the UMN. So the UMN, as it stands now, is dangerous. Just like Doctu said, Gnosis may not have been called by Professor Mizrahi, and the UTIC organization, or even the immigrant fleet, but rather Vector, the constructor of the UMN. If that's true, there may be an ulterior motive in Cosmos's development as well. Is that why you're having Skientia investigate the Milshin conflict? Because your father might have been involved? I don't know for certain. But I think someone has to do something. And I don't want Cosmos to suffer. Xion, you still can't forget about her? <sighs> you quit the company without any hesitation, so I thought you'd be over it by now. It takes a lot of courage to renounce everything you've worked for. Anyway, if there's any developments over here, I'll let you know. Right. But be careful. You're in more danger than the rest of us since you are where you are. Oh, Xion, stop trying to scare me. <clears throat> Nephilim, you're still... That's happening a lot lately. 
I wonder if I'm just worn out. I guess it's been a while, Chief. Um, actually, this is pretty difficult to tell you, but... At a staff meeting a few days ago, they... officially decided to cancel... First Division's Cosmos Development Project. Actually, it's being transferred to the military, so the project itself isn't going away. But the military is going to oversee the development of a new model. So the Cosmos unit development will come to a close at the end of this month. Togashi and I have the misfortune of being transferred to the military along with it. The decision was sudden, so we're all scrambling to organize the data we've accumulated. Though all of us are pretty down since you've left. So. Now I'm on 5th Jerusalem, where the project is being transferred to. Would you like to come and visit us? Everyone misses you. I'm sure even Cosmos. <laughs> well, she's antisocial as usual, so I don't know what she thinks, but I bet she misses you too. I'll await your answer. I 
Hope to see you soon, Chief. Or Flower of First Division. Well, he certainly learned how to talk smoothly. I can't believe it's been six months already. Chief, wait, calm down. Please, tell me why... Weren't you listening to what I just said? I was listening. I, I heard what you said. But what do you mean you're quitting? Upper management has yet to make a decision. I can't just stay on as chief like nothing happened after causing an incident like that. You mean the Gnosis terrorism, right? It was that grimoire guy who caused it. There's no reason for you to take responsibility for it. You haven't been accused of anything yet. You don't have to resign. Cosmos will be sealed and placed under observation, and I'm responsible for it. It may be irresponsible to leave in the middle of development, but I can't stay at Vector. She's only being sealed temporarily, and... Wait, Chief! Alan, please take care of Cosmos, and everyone. Please, give it a second thought. I'm sorry. Chief. A female form? Yes. Since ancient times, women always healed people's hearts and granted them hope. But there have been a lot of men who were healers, too. Historical records have always been compiled from a male point of view. And besides, men are creatures capable of nothing but destruction and conquest. It's important to choose a female form when it's going to be a creator or protector. Did I say something strange? No, it's just funny to see you with a gentle expression while you lecture with such intensity. <laughs> really? Why did you decide to make Cosmos, Kevin? Is it to protect humanity? Well... It's true that Gnosis are a grave threat to mankind's existence. So wanting to protect people from that threat is part of it. But more than that, there's something much stronger inside me. Stronger? Everything exists for a reason. If the Gnosis represents a truth we haven't known before, then I want to know what that is. The truth about Gnosis. I think that may actually be the shortcut to saving this universe. I know you can do it, Kevin. You'll build Cosmos, and you'll find that meaning. So, they've cancelled the project. It's my fault. Kevin would be sad. Everything is unfinished. I'm sure even Cosmos won't be satisfied. <sighs> no, I'm the one who's not satisfied. I can't go on leaving things unfinished like this. I have to go see Cosmos.
It appears part of the S-Line Division data leaked. It's her handiwork. It seems she's working very hard. The leak includes information about that program. It doesn't matter. They have little power. Actually, it's all rather endearing. They think their cage is the entire world, and they believe they can change it. Let's just watch over them for a while. But enough of that. How did things go at Renlu Chateau? Is everything ready? Everything is proceeding as planned. The transport to Fifth Jerusalem is complete. We are ready for the Zohar project demonstration. Do you intend to leave that location as is? Yes. Ormus needs a sign that they can see with their own eyes. As long as they have their proof, they will continue to sacrifice themselves to protect their idol. For that is the source of their hope. There isn't much time left for her as well. Contact with Cosmos has taken its toll on her. You must succeed this time. I understand. I will tend to her myself. She emits good wavelength, just as you said. Thank you. Save the game? This is awful. Yes. This battle resulted in the destruction of the 87th Division fleet. Now the Mictum system has, for all practical purposes, fallen under Ormus control. And so, history repeats itself. It's the exact same situation as 100 years ago. As long as people have self-preservation instincts, there will always be conflicts. The consciousness that makes us who we are is an inseparable part of life. Only death awaits people who abandon their human nature. So everything is dictated by the laws of nature? That does sound like you, Helmer. But even that is in danger of being destroyed by the Gnosis, if things continue on like this. That's what the Zohar Project is for. I hear that the tactical warship Merkava is already complete. According to the remaining fragments of the Y data, the Merkaba, just like the Proto-Merkaba, is a device that existed since ancient times. And Dimitri decided to turn it into a weapon. When Albedo obtained the Y data from Momo's subconscious domain, Dimitri obtained it as well by some unknown method. That bastard Dimitri. Who would have thought he would use Joachim's dark relics? This must be hard on you. I'm more worried about how Momo would feel if she learned about this. I can't bear to see her sad. You're a good mother. Well, I'm trying. I'm sorry, but I will need you to keep an eye on Dimitri a little while longer. Isn't this sort of job your specialty? Perhaps in the past. Now I'm the Milshan representative. I can't make any moves out in the open. Just restraining the Salvatore faction in Parliament keeps my hands full. You have my sympathy. Farewell. Are you busy? Kanan? No, it's fine. Have you found any information about the object? This is what it looks like under the UMN Resonating Telescope at maximum magnification. According to the information we obtained unofficially from Vector, this object is called Ren Le Chateau. There's no way to prove this, but apparently it's a landmass that belonged to Lost Jerusalem. 
Even if, as you say, this is in fact a relic of lost Jerusalem, why has it appeared now? There is also a record of an unusual number of Gnosis appearing in that region of space. Ormus appears interested in it as well. There's likely to be some connection. The only way to obtain more data on it is to make direct contact with the target. What do you propose about assembling an expedition team? I've already commissioned the Kukai Foundation. This isn't public due to the number of Ormus members in the military and parliament. A wise decision. Was Xion doing well? Yes, she seemed fine. Though I'm not sure if I approve of her new associates. Ah, uh, Skientia. Their technical skills are impressive. Vector has been acting suspiciously since the Gnosis terrorism. We'll use anything we can in order to find the truth, even outlaws. Please continue your investigation on the UMN. It must be difficult for you, since you were born at Vector, but there's no one else I can ask. I'm currently under the jurisdiction of the Milshan government. And I've also received orders from Representative Helmer to cooperate with you. Do not worry about me. Thank you. Parliament and the military both have their hands full dealing with Ormus. And we can't ignore a request from committee member Mizrahi. Nah, don't worry about it. We're getting bored anyway. It'll be a nice change of pace. Right? That's right. It's unofficial, but we have information that an Ormus fleet is headed there as well. Either there's something there that Ormus needs, or maybe... Just because we don't know what it is, doesn't mean they don't. Either way, if we make direct contact, we're sure to find out something, right? I envy your attitude. But I wish you'd think a little more about my position. Oh well, that's the little master for ya. The matter is surrounded by sensitive political issues. If I could, I'd go with you. But I can't leave Fifth Jerusalem for a while. Take care of the place while I'm gone, you two. If he gives you any trouble, don't hesitate to scold him. You got it. Understood. <laughs> like he really envies me. He's dumped all the hard stuff on us. I'm gonna make him write all the reports when this is done. Little Master, are you really going to be okay with just the Elsa? Wouldn't it be a good idea for us to go too? Don't worry. It's just going to be a reconnaissance, so Elsa's small size is better suited. Just keep the Durandal in the back for support. Anyway, we've got ESs. There's nothing to worry about. Little Master, I don't mean to dampen your enthusiasm. But large-scale Gnosis appearances have been detected in that region of space. Please take appropriate caution. I know. We're almost there. I'll contact you later. Margulis, I've put Richard and Herman in charge of dealing with... the Federation fleet moving towards Renlu Chateau. <laughs> They seem to be highly compatible with the vessels of Anima. Yes. The Federation will be unable to offer any real resistance against ES craft. This should keep them quiet for a while. Hmm. What's wrong? You're not yourself. Are you feeling sentimental after returning to our homeland? Pellegrin, what do you see before you? 
Mictum, the mummified world that spreads before our eyes. This is what is left of the birthplace of Ormus. A world destroyed 18 years ago. By Federation barbarians who foolishly unleashed the Zohar. Yes, it is our homeland wiped from the records in order to cover up the Federation's mistakes. But why are we here now? What lies on this world ruled by death and gnosis? Isn't our goal to return to lost Jerusalem? Everything is the will of Lord Heinlein. It is not for us to know. He has stated that this world will rise again. Then it must mean that it will. Already Ren Le Chateau has returned. The holy land of Ren Le Chateau? Our cradle, which once existed on lost Jerusalem. Where our blessed saint sleeps. If the reappearance of the tomb heralds the revival of our homeland, then we must protect our holy land at all costs. Reporting, sir. Kukai Foundation vessel is approaching the region in question. It appears to be a Lohengrin class freighter. Hmm. Helmer's dogs. <laughs> Perhaps I'll meet him again. Prepare the Prodigium for launch. We're going to Ren le Chateau. is pretty big. More like an asteroid than a rock formation. It's 70 kilometers in diameter. Unable to determine mass due to abnormal gravitational fields. Still, these values seem to be rather unusual. I didn't think anything this size could cause such a gravitational disturbance. Gravity roughly 1g around the object. But that seems rather strange. Wait. W what is this? Looks like a large portion of land from somewhere. It could even be the remains of a destructed planet. No. The shape of the underside looks too uniform for that. It appears to have been artificially cut away from its original mass. Multiple unidentified craft are approaching. Tony! Damn it! Is that Ormus? It's nice of them to greet us. Continue your approach to the island to collect data. We can handle these guys ourselves. Little master. Now wait just a second. Is he telling us to go there by ourselves? No way in hell. We don't get any hazard pay. Damn escort! Now go do what you're paid to do!
Elsa. It's safe. It's gathering data at coordinates KZ two five five Y seven two four. Okay. Momo and Jin, you go guard the Elsa. Right. Roger. Junior, enemy reinforcements. They don't know when to give up. How many are there this time? Just one. And it's after the Elsa. You're on the way. What? <gasps> Be gone. Well, well. Your inexperience is beginning to show! Is that a new model? Momo, stay back! I'll take him down! <sighs> what? A black ES. It's agility. Swordsmanship. Uzuki. I thought that was you, Colonel. This location must mean a great deal, due to the fact that you've come all this way here to join us. And what if it does? It's not a phenomenon you can handle, and you'll never understand its meaning. I'm going to send you and your ESs right to your grave! See how far my blades will go against you. between me and you.
Colonel, what is Ormus so concerned about? What lies asleep in this place? I have nothing else to say to you. You should be ashamed of your ignorance. Now it's time for you to die! What's this? What? Momo, what's happening? It's a space-time transfer. An anomaly has manifested around the landmass. Imaginary number values increasing. The phenomenon surface is rotating in reverse phase. <sighs> Jin, you have to get out of here now! You won't get away from me that easily. Who's okay? Do not interfere! Captain! Hurry! You must escape! They headed for the Holy Land! How dare they! Let them go, Margulis. But I... Your Eminence... How can you say that? The blessed saint sleeps in that land. She is already in our possession. Even if they were able to reach the place, there would be nothing for them to find there. What was that? Don't tell me you have already acted. Yes. I have a new task for you. Return at once. Do you understand? Yes, Your Eminence. Uzuki, unfortunately, we'll have to settle this later. In the meantime, I want you to concentrate on saving your friends. You have got to think of something to help them out at this point. That is, if there is a way to help save their poor souls. But Colonel... Were they shot down? No way! Besides, we didn't detect any explosions! Regardless of what happened, we won't be able to learn any more from here. Let's hurry to Little Master's location. Yeah! Hear that, Little Master? Wait just a little bit! Yeah, gotcha! Please hurry! Jin, how's it look over there? I'm afraid the Reuben sensors won't be able to show us anymore. We'll have to wait for the Durandal's arrival. Damn it! Just be okay, guys. Save the game?
One year has now passed since the battle in Old Milshan space. Ever since the Zoar was swallowed up by the giant Gnosis, the Gnosis phenomenon has increased in frequency, and the people are now constantly exposed to its threat. Yet, despite the large number of star systems that have been destroyed by the Gnosis, people continue to resist, refusing to cooperate with each other and engaging in one pointless conflict after another. I found myself full of questions. I wanted to know more about the immigrant fleet, the organization that was behind the Milshan conflict, as well as the words that were spoken by the Patriarch Sergius. He said that the Ormus are the rightful possessors of a Zohar. So I began to investigate. I wanted to know more about the relationship between the Milshan conflict and the Zohar on my own. Six months ago, I encountered a group of people called Skientia. I was able to obtain their aid as I found myself becoming more and more involved in an incident that revolved around a mysterious program called Lemigeton. It turned out to be a Zohar control program, which was developed during the Lost Jerusalem era. Its creator, Grimoire, continued to wander the UMN as a mental entity in search of a being. He was searching for Nephilim, the girl in the white dress that has appeared before me countless times. The existence of an organization controlling Grimoire from the shadows came to light. Vector Special Technology Advancement Division this department, jointly managed by the government and private industry, had been wiped from the records. But there was no doubt, it had been created by the organization I worked for. Vector also had contact with the UTIC organization, and the UTIC organization was connected with Ormus. But the evidence was concealed and the truth had been buried away into the darkness. Everything except for one fact. I found out the name of the individual who was in the lead position at that time in the management office. When I saw the name, Suo Uzuki, I felt nothing. No surprise, no sadness, and no anger. To be honest, I felt nothing at all. Somewhere in my heart, I think that I must have expected it. All I could feel was a sense of resignation, knowing that the inevitable had finally come to pass. And I decided to quit my job at Vector. The friends I made there, and Cosmos, were the only bonds I had linking me to Kevin. But I couldn't stand being there any longer. Maybe I did it to atone for all of the victims. Maybe it was to strike back at my late father, who had abandoned my mother. No, it wasn't for either of those reasons. It was probably that I... Let's see. I'm supposed to meet him at the hotel. There's still some time. I think I'll look around the city.
Get away. Stop. Stay back. Stop. Stop it. Stop it! Don't touch me! Stop it! Don't talk to me! I refuse to acknowledge you! Stop talking to me! Stop it! I won't do what you want! I... Who do? Dr. Yuryev. Hmm? Is something wrong? Are you not feeling well? I'm just having some trouble getting along with my son. I'm fine. Please continue. Yes, sir. Currently the operational experiments are underway in the research ward. And the doctor wishes to give you a report. I see. Accompany me, Citrine. Yes, sir. I see you're as unfriendly as ever, Sellers. I don't have much time. Just tell me the results. You're as bad as Margulis. You commanders are so inflexible. Anyway, the startup experiment has already succeeded. The problem is... What? Look at these values. The pulse from the temporal lobe is unstable. Perhaps there's a problem in the link with the pilot. This is based on the prototype recovered from the ruins of Milsha. It was originally calibrated for an Ormus priest, so these results are unsurprising. Same as the power supply. It was designed to match the original Zohar. Currently, we're operating it using the spare emulator unit I constructed. But because of it, the output is unstable, and the link with the pilot is poor. Are you saying it won't run? Exactly the opposite. It generates too much power, and we're unable to stop it. Federation's technicians are no fools, but Ormus is much more experienced in regards to this. If we at least had Vector participating, the outcome might have been a little different. Why did you remove them from the project? The Lamagetan incident. I'm sure you're aware they were involved in it. I don't know what he's scheming, but I can't allow him to gain top secret information. What about the alternative you're using in place of Cosmos? Have you determined its origin? It may be another Vector plot. I have people working on that now. Even if it was, it's still just an anti-gnosis weapon. We'll just use it for our own purpose. Now, give me an update on the Macabre. No visible problems with that thing. We've already completed the final calibration. Thanks to the Y data you brought. Did I hurt your pride? Take that how you like, but I hope you appreciate my work. I painfully reconstructed it by putting the fragments together. It would almost have been faster to build it from scratch. Of course, with the core in this condition, I can't guarantee its safety. There's not much time left before the demonstration. I trust you'll have it ready by then. <laughs> of course. Otherwise, there'd be no point of me being here. By the way, have you found an opponent? 
You're going to need something impressive to fight this thing. Don't worry. That's already been arranged. Oh. It's the perfect opponent to silence the fools that support Vector. Big news! Big news! Hey, where's the new chief? If you're looking for Chief Ridgely, he went out to the city. He said he was meeting someone. A meeting? Oh, he must have gone to see Chief Uzuki. What does he think he's doing at a time like this? He should just tell her he's in love with her. He needs to make up his mind and act. By Uzuki, you mean Shion Uzuki, the former chief? She took responsibility for the Gnosis terrorism and resigned, right? Was she Chief Ridgely's girlfriend? What? <laughs> if she were, he would be delirious. But reality is harsh. So, what's the big news? Did something happen? Oh, yeah. Cosmos is going to be the opponent for the new weapon in the demonstration. New weapon? You mean that... Yeah, that crazy thing. I guess they want to acquire real-world combat data along with the activation test. But they've sure got a lot of confidence to pick Cosmos as the opponent. Yeah, they may have removed her from the project, but she's still ready for combat. Do they think they can win over support if it defeats Cosmos? Yeah, I hear there's a lot of Vector-friendly Parliament members in the government. It's probably a move to take some wind out of that faction. I can't believe they're using the product of our stress and caffeine as a political tool. They'll learn not to mess with the Princess of First Division. We're gonna send them packing. Damn it! We need to get started on the calibration work right away! What the hell is the new chief doing at a time like this? <laughs>